Hey guys, it's Jayla. Welcome back to my channel. This video is in collaboration with Nadula Hair. I'm really excited to show y'all how I got this look using just a shred of leave out. So if you'd like to see how I did it, then please keep watching. So it's about 2.30 in the morning, meaning my flight to Cancun is in approximately 10 hours. But if you know me, you know I don't tend to sleep before a flight. So, uh, and I wanted to show you guys the hair I'm gonna be taking, my hairstyle for Mexico. Just a disclaimer, if you follow me on Instagram and you saw my pictures from Mexico, I did not end up wearing this specific wig. I wore another one, but this is the wig that I took to Las Vegas. So if you saw my pictures from Vegas, this is the wig. All right, thanks. So it is a V part wig. Let me just pull it out and show it out. I'm one of those people that can't wait to open packages. I opened this on my way back from the mail center. But this is a V part wig from Nadula Hair. This is their branding, their packaging. Um, be confident, be bold, be you. This low wig bag um, for storage. So it comes in a black box with the gold lettering on the front, Nadula. Be confident with all of you. Oh Lord. This wig comes with a lot. I'm surprised they fit all this stuff in here. But it comes with this little mesh bag with some accessories and some tools. Okay, since I didn't finish that unboxing, what else was in the box? So the box was super packed. They gave me a lot of headbands. I got three velour ones in pink, green, and blue, and the bandana printed one that I showed you all earlier. And also the satin scarf that really came in handy on my flight to Vegas. That's where I actually wore this hair. And I kept my leave out really smooth and helped it blend with the wig even better. And also these little banana clips that I showed you guys in the last clip. Um, and lastly, they also gave me the sparkly headband and these eyelashes. So without further ado, let's watch the install. All right, guys, so I'm starting with the clean hair for the install since I know I'm going to be putting stuff on it, gel, mousse, edge control, all that. So I want to have a clean base and then establish a part. So my last wig I did like this. I did a middle part and I really do think with me, I prefer a side part. So I am struggling to get that down. And once I do, I'm going to be moisturizing my hair. I showed you guys that really fast, but that was the cream of nature coconut milk curl repair leave-in. And I'm just applying that all through my hair because you guys have been seeing me wear a lot of wigs, but I'm taking care of my natural hair underneath too. Now you can wear this V part wig with no leave out, but I think it does look just a little bit better with a little bit. So I'm gonna be separating that section and braiding up that half of my hair. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the left side. As I said, I'm doing a, a side part, so the leave out location is going to follow suit and be on the side. So after I have the appropriate amount of leave out on both sides of my part, I'm just gonna twist that section up and finish prepping my hair. I'm putting some edge control around the perimeter of my head in case the wind blows. I don't wanna be caught off guard. So I'm just using the Kiss Colors and Care Edge Fixer, edge control that I found in the beauty supply store and a brush just to smooth everything down on both my right and left side of my head. So I washed the wig with some Cream of Nature shampoo and conditioner that I would use on my own hair and let it dry overnight. And I neglected to show y'all, but this wig is constructed like a lot of other V-part wigs. There's five clips around the part, two combs on either side, one comb in the back, and two adjustable straps. I will say, please take your time when installing this wig because if you rush, it will get all caught up in your hair. You won't be able to see it to untangle it and it's really painful. And also, I thought the wig was gonna be a little bit loose, so I made the adjustable straps just a little bit too tight, and you guys can see me struggling to pull that around my head. So when you do pull the straps, keep in mind that you might need a little more space than you think. I was gonna try to rock with the wet and wavy look, but it really wasn't sitting right. I really needed it to be more voluminous. I like big and frizzy hair, so I just took a paddle brush and went straight through the wig dry because it's well moisturized and good human hair, I was able to do so with little to no shedding and it looks so much better. 
So once I reinstalled, I, I just made sure the adjustable straps were a little bit further apart. The wig is very well constructed, but when they were that tight like that and I clipped it in, I did pop one of the clips loose. It does still work, but it's a little harder to camouflage since I popped it loose. So just be gentle and make sure you don't force the wig around the perimeter of your head, please. <laughs> I was actually very surprised that my hair was blending so well even before I was able to manipulate it. I was kind of excited. I definitely think I was right in brushing that wig. It allowed my hair to kind of camouflage more with the wig. So I think I might wear it like this all the time. But just to kind of tame um, my actual hair down, I'm using a little bit of the mousse that I also used on the wig on my roots and the actual length of my hair. Now, when I went down to Vegas, my hair did very well with this wig. I went to sleep with the headscarf that they provided me and I used some edge control along the actual part with some mousse and tied it down. And when I was outside, it stayed and it looked very, very good. The only thing I would point out for this wig, I didn't say it before, but it is 22 inches. After you wash and comb it and manipulate it and everything, I would advise just snipping off like half an inch at the bottom, just because it gets rid of any scraggliness and it makes it look that much more full. Let me know what you guys think of the wigs in the comments. If you've been a fan of my page since I was Naturally She's Fly, you know that I was known for my natural styles and I've been wearing a lot more wigs now. So let me know what y'all think of this type of protective style. If y'all want to follow me on Instagram, I'm on there at underscore J-A-Y-B-Y-D-A-Y underscore J by day, that's me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like this video so I can produce more content. And also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.